Today I'm here to stand in solidarity, first by saying I love you. I've learned from many members of our community, Jewish and Israeli, that they have felt they don't have as many friends as they thought they did. Some might say, oh, I can't listen to that news every day, but I make myself so that I can feel what the people are feeling. It's important for everybody to know that Israelis and Jewish people around the world and many in this community are indeed feeling vulnerable and alone right now. Many in our community are feeling alone and distanced from people that they had perhaps thought they could rely on support from. Uh, I am heartbroken for what has happened to the people of Israel. We're frankly worried about the backlash of anti-Semitism that's already on the rise in this country. I'm sure many of you have friends or family that are there, and I pray for you. And in fact, as a Christian, I stand in solidarity because uh, the Bible that I read tells us that blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. There is a renewed sense of resilience, determination, solidarity, and hope. And I can feel it in our Jewish community, and I can feel it in our Jewish people, and I can feel it in here tonight, and we need it. We need that unity and that solidarity from our friends and allies right now. Israel needs it, and we need it like we've never needed it before. The other thing I want you to know is you have a lot more friends than you're counting. <laughs>